Okay, today we're going to talk about section 7-1, integer exponents. Um, basically, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be trying to figure out how to fix um, exponents that are um, negative, and we're going to consider those broken, and we're also going to talk about um, any exponents that are zero. Okay, um, so this first example, which is question number 54 from your homework, um, question number 54 is two-thirds m to the negative first power n to the fifth. So as I just said, this m to the negative first, pa first power is what we're going to focus in today. That is what we're considered broken, and we're going to try to fix that. Uh, before we can do that, um, I want to just kind of point out that this two-thirds times um, these variables is really the same as writing 2m to the negative 1, n to the fifth, all of that over 3. And so by creating it as one big fraction like that, um, it's a little bit easier to see how to fix it. Now that we have it as one fraction, we can see this is what's broken. The way we fix it is by moving it. If it's on the top, like this one, we move it to the bottom. If this would have been on the bottom, then we would move it up. That's how you fix it. In the process of moving it um, from the top to the bottom, it makes that exponent positive. So you're left with, on top, 2n to the fifth, and then on bottom, 3m, and now it's to the positive first power. Anything to the first power is just whatever it was, and so really to simplify it, we don't even have to write the 1, and 2n to the 5th over 3m is our answer. The second example that I'm going to do with you is question number 64. It's uh, the yz, which is inside parentheses, to the negative x power. When x equals 3, y equals negative 1, and z equals 2. So we're going to take all of these and substitute them in for the appropriate letters. y would be negative 1 times z, which is 2. And then all of that is going to be to the negative uh, third power. Because x was negative and x is equal to 3. So we multiply in the parentheses first. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 to the negative 3 power. Because this exponent is negative, it's broken so we need to fix it. This needs to move. It currently is in the top spot, so we're going to move it down to the bottom. That leaves nothing on top, so we're going to put our 1 as a placeholder. We have negative 2 to the positive third power. Notice that the only sign that changed was the exponent. That's the only thing that we're fixing. The, the base number stays the same. It's okay to have a negative to a positive base or a positive exponent, which is what we're doing here. This stands for negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 8. 1 is still on top, so we get negative 1. Eight. The last example is question number 76. Question number 76 has two broken things. We have p to the negative first power, and we also have q to the negative third power. Um, because both of those are broken, we need to fix them, and the way we fix them is by moving them. Because this p to the negative first power is on top, we're going to move it to the bottom. Because the q to the negative thir third power is on bottom, we're going to move it to the top. Once we've moved those, we're still left with 20 on the outside. q now comes up and becomes positive. The exponent becomes positive. 5 is left on bottom, and then p comes down and it's to the positive first power. Before we can call this finished, we need to um, finish our simplifying. There's a couple things here. 1, 20 divided by 5 gives us 4, so that should be 4q to the third power. And also, p to the first power is just p, so we're going to be left with just p on the bottom. Don't forget the negative out front. Circle it. That's our answer. I hope that helps.